Yes, I've actually got my childhood back. There you go, look at that. The Atari ST. Now I actually had the FM, this is the E, the STE. Oh. Yeah, uh, I can't be asked filming myself, I've had a long day at work, but oh, seriously, it is so good to have this back. Going into games design and I get my childhood back. But the first game I tried on it, when it does load, Oh, that makes me very happy. So, yeah. But there you go, look. Atari ST. So, we'll just turn that off for the moment. So, just to kind of go through everything. So there's this big, giant, fuck-off box here. And, um, yeah. I uh, the just the I mean I've, there's the first game I actually had this it's the uh, it's the ten star pack yeah I've actually got all ten games in there but let's um let's go through it all let's uh, start off with one of these so I'll just move everything out of the way so just to start off with so I've got first word the STE language disc spell it a spell checker for the Atari ST range. Frontier Software. As if. Guys who made Elite. Um, applications disc. Another one. Another one. Uh, somebody's written on that. Oh, okay. Uh, first word in any. Yeah. Um, RAM test. The classics disc. Magic Carpet. <laughs> by... Uh, by a bullfrog of all people, which is awesome. So uh, let's go through all these ones, all the ST format ones. And I think I bet I had these the first time round. But uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, Chaos Engine. It's mad! Supercar for its civilization. Word Flare. Haha! <laughs> Beat the eggs, get the code, and enter our Dizzy Adventure Holiday Compo. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, get your finances in order. Wellard. Wellard. <laughs> Zool. By my Sheffield uh, base guys. Create fractals in up to 256 colours. Falcon compatible. So that's that lot. And you can see just my jeans so uh, back over here yeah the reason why I've got this the Atari ST um, was basically I thought if I'm going into games design I need my childhood bag this this thing I know it gets a lot of bad stick I know it does but this thing is incredibly important to me um, as a child I'll just turn you around as a child um, as a four-year-old uh, I was told that I had bad hand-eye coordination and my mom and dad bought me an Atari ST uh, to basically get my eyes and my hands to function properly. Because of that, that's where my love of games started and the fact that I'm going into games design now, I felt almost duty bound to get another Atari ST because I lost the other one, my mom and dad got rid of it. and. Um, it's 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 so incredibly important to me that thing there because I I found years of love and admiration for the little thing and uh, without that I probably would have never got into games as much as I ever did or did the nostalgia trip stuff or even did this channel you know that thing that big grey piece of lump of plastic is probably one of the most important things to me in the gaming world why I started why I did and um, to think that was to basically get my eyes and my hands to work that's all it was for and um, really just carried on from there so um, anyway enough of the history lesson so uh, let's see what else we got in here so medieval chess 
Whoa, knife. I don't know, what, what, what does knife do? <laughs> well, that sounds delightful. Uh, Legends of Valor. I know that was some Galaxian. Blast those alien scumbags. Uh, what we got here? Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix. So that, that went on the snares, didn't it? No second prize. Um, what do you call it? Mark Johnson of uh, the Joyous Sticks did a playthrough on that. Uh, B-17 Flying Fortress. Bombs away. And a bit of totty there. Prism paint. Complete program. What we got here? Hyperbase. Got Batman there. Air support. And sound lab. Wow. Gift to Raw. Picture file converter. Wow. Persuade Stoss to run on NEST or TT. Wow. Arcadian. Oh, the last Arcadian. Sorry, it looked like they were both separate things. Ozone. Uh, three full games. Doesn't tell me exactly what's on there, but there's three full games and Robin Hood. That might be an interesting one to have a look at sometime in the future. Noddy's Playtime. The man with the hat is back. Uh, picture concept. Insecticide and Grab 2. I miss magazines doing this sort of thing. I really miss it. Genuinely do. So, that was in the little box. So, why not have a look in this big huge fuck off box? So, yeah, I got absolutely tons of stuff in here. Now, let's start off with the 10 star pack. Now, there was, I remember getting bought this from my dad and my mom, and they bought it me, and um, yeah, I loved it. So, um, kind of start off with Rick Dangerous. So, uh, this is number seven, uh, Firebird. Those are the guys that, uh, it was BT, actually, uh, British Telecom. Now these guys, believe it or not, who made this, uh, went on to make Tomb Raider. Honestly, that is true. I know that sounds like I'm taking the piss, but that is genuinely true. But it's in really good nick, actually. So that's that one. Yeah, we know this one. We've done a live stream on it twice. Trivial Pursuit, A New Beginning. I've actually got it properly now. Yeah. Who is Martina Navarra? I can't speak in the Elder's voice for that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Chess Player 2150. Oxford Softworks. Nothing too special about that. Like the isometric view there. <laughs> Next one, Rock and Roll. Rainbow Arts, number eight. Yeah. We've also got, I loved this actually, as a kid. Squeak. But it had to be them. They didn't have much deal with this one, I don't think. But that's uh, number nine. I loved that game as a kid. Loved it. Live and Let Die, the computer game. Yeah, number four there. Elite. It's really sad. I'm looking at this. So, Elite, US Gold. I don't think they're about anymore. I think they've long gone. Um, everybody who I've just like, picked up, they're all dead. There's none of them left. And Driving Force. I remember that being absolutely horrific. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at that picture now. I remember how horrific that was. Uh, yeah, it wasn't great, that one. So, uh, yeah, that's them. I think there's a couple more in here from that. So, yeah, there was this as well. Asterix, Operation Getafix. They definitely don't exist anymore. So that's number one, apparently. So uh, that was rock hard, I remember. Absolutely solid. Yeah, it was rock hard, that. Now this one I've already done. This was the one I remember the most from this 10 star pack. Fucking loved it. Great game. Might come back to that again one day. Try and do a journey on it. Don't know. Comes with the manual. Yeah. So it's got everything in there. 
let's just see if there's any uh, things I've missed. So, oh, right, let's pick up this one because I love it for this alone. Look, oh, he's got a bit of shine on him. Yeah, yeah he's got his Atari ST there, Discovery Extra. So, oh, bunches of dicks. Dicks? Ooh, I'm thinking of something else. Discs. So, nine lives. Yeah. Played that before. Um, not sure what that is. I don't know what that actually is. So, could be something else. That's. Don't know what that is either, but I didn't have that. Sim City with Robot Monsters. I must have had this though. I must have had this in some shape or form. Um, Final Fight. That's something that Mark's also played. Data disc and program disc. But yeah, that's got lots of manuals and all sorts of stuff in there. So, a bit nuts that one. Um, it's going to be a bit fiddly trying to put it back on. But yeah, I'm uh, just going to put all you back in. There you go, chaps. I'm talking to you like you're real. I need to get out more. I'll put him down there. Now, excuse me a moment, I'm just going to have a slurp of tea. Excuse me, are you ready? Ooh, there we go. Oh, that is spot. Right, so, where do we start with all this? We start down here. So, yeah, the Hit Squad. Now, Lombard Rally. I don't think I ever had this. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I remember the Hit Squad, they did all sorts of stuff. Yeah, not much in that really. It's just that and that. Please tell me if you think it's any good. So, uh, it was £7.99. Crikey. Also as well from Buzz. Manchester United Europe. Not sure if I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Oop, just bashed you there. Uh, what we got here? This one's a bit battered. I get Graham Gooch, Graham Taint. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, World class cricket. So, oh, you, you don't know how much this makes me feel happy though. Having all this stuff again. Audiogenic. Remember that. Now, Gettysburg. Yeah, now. I don't think I've ever played this, but apparently I think it's got some good reviews, this. So, like, oh, look at look at how meaty the actual instruction manual is. Oh, and when games used to have proper maps. Oh, like proper, proper full-blown maps. Oh, happy, happy. F oh, it's got a pen in there. Wow. <laughs> Why, why that, why, 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 oh, that's got stuck on there as well, oh, I'm going to leave you there, <laughs> uh, I'm going to put you all back in, there you go, but Ark were the guys who did Nine Lives, so, let's move on, let's have a look at you, Super Off-Road, I don't remember if I played that or not, hmm, this is on a postcard with that one. Right, so, this is when we get into the meat of it. So, now there is a lot of football games in here. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, now completely updated with this season's stats. Yeah, whoever I bought this from loved, loved his football games. Um, I might get rid of some of those. So if anybody has an Atari ST and wants to trade some of this, Mark, um, let me know. Oh, that's the updated season data update disc. There he is with his pointy finger again. Yeah, he loved his football games, whoever bought this from. So, uh, Striker, he paid 26 quid for this originally. Ooh, excuse me. Rage. Wow, when Rage was still around. Um, the actual ST basic, I'm not going to get that one out because that's just programming language. Uh, let's get through all the football ones. So we got Premier Manager. Yeah. Probably the first iteration of it, but... Uh, oh, Gremlin. 
There you are. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Sensible Soccer as well. Music by Captain Sensible. Yeah. And not only one, but I've got two of them. Great. So if anybody wants them, I need to get rid of those because I don't want them. Um, let's go through all the boring ones. So Micropro's Golf. It's a beautiful sock. I said sock. So uh, yeah, that's that one. What else we got in here? Now, here we go. Oh, this one. This one actually brought a bit of a, a little bit of a nostalgic bone in my body actually, because my dad adored this game. My dad loved it. Absolutely adored it. So yeah, it was quite quite strange seeing that again. Part of me wants to keep it. I don't know why with that one. I don't know if it's because my dad used to play. He used to play it for hours. Absolutely hours, that. Um, what we got here? Ooh, that's an interesting one. International Sports Challenge. Oh, a, oh, horse. Oh, oh. Oh, that one looks incredibly interesting. <laughs> Well, that's definitely getting played, that one. Uh, never played that before. Right, so, yeah, um, Mark went through all these as well. Lotus Free, the ultimate challenge. Ah, oh, Gremlin, there you are. Yeah, so, um, a racing game from the future. Yeah, wow. Anyone wanna pronounce that for me? Um, so, let's carry on. Crazy Cars 3. Yeah, we played this. We did actually play this. And, um, yeah. It's kind of strange when it's like, yeah, most of it is not actually from the game. And it's like, <laughs> I loved it, actually. Did love this game. Crazy Cars 3. Weren't bad. It weren't bad. It's a bit weird when you, you know, when you play it again. Um... So these ones, I'll get that one out because it, it's quite obvious what that one is. Never played it. War in the Gulf. Never played it. Answers on a postcard with that one because I genuinely don't know what that one's like. So, uh, yeah, interested on that one. Now, these ones I definitely did have. So, to begin with, Street Fighter 2. It's out to get you! Dot, dot, exclamation point. Now, look at Ryu there. <laughs> and he's getting the shit beaten out of him. Uh, Ken, Chun-Li. <coughs> oh, excuse me, and a little sneeze. Um, how camp does he look? Oh, yeah. um, it'd be interesting to play that again. Genuinely interesting to play that. Uh, the hottest two-player arcade action you can get. Just have sex. Just have sex. <laughs> now, this one, I fucking loved this as a kid. Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. Because the balls used to, there, they are, look, they used to come alive. Hey, like that. Yeah. Hey, there he is, look, with his superior mullet. I've seen most of the other snooker games and this one leaves them all standing. It's almost as if I'm watching myself play on TV. The cue action is just right. But, but there's a smiling face there. Um, the behaviour of the balls, even in the jaws of the pockets, is perfect. Some of the shots the game makes are outrageous. I wish I could play them. I might as well put my cue for good. Oh, put away my cue for good. I can't read. Uh, yeah, next one. Now... I remember this, yeah, WWF European Rampage Tour, because I think I actually went to, I actually saw that, I went to actually see it live, I think it was at Sheffield Arena, 92, yeah it was, yeah, um, but uh, it's not a good game, <laughs> it's nostalgic for a lot of right reasons, but it's not a good game, so uh, looking forward to that one, definitely, oh man, Three, <laughs> only one of them still alive. That's sad. Right, the last one. 
The last one is the one that made me all nostalgic, really. This one is the reason I thought, my God, I lost a lot of hours to this. Grand Prix. Yeah, fucking amazing game. Um, just amazing. And Microprose and Jeff Crammond and... Oh, let's get it out of the box. Hang on a moment, everyone. Look at my dick. Look at my dick. There we go. So it's nothing special, black box, but when you open it, whoa. So, yeah, it had, what's this little one here? Names and car setups. See, see everybody had a, had a spare disc with it on, so you could actually, you know, but yeah. And the reason why I loved it a lot was, was this manual. And I, you had to basically type in the actual, you know, it'd, I'd say try getting to page 400 or whatever, page 90, and type in the first thing you see. And just, it's just when manuals were great. And, you know, it tells you all about the actual circuits, you know, Phoenix circuit, and it explains it all in the United States. Do you know what I mean? It's just... I read that and I got a little shiver down my spine thinking, my God, I remember reading this as a kid and it telling you how to make proper driving techniques and stuff. And it was, it was, it was actually like a proper... This was like a proper book. And I remember pouring over it and just how amazing it was. But yeah, um, I've blocked it now, but the Atari ST. Um, yeah, I am... Um, Really happy to have that back, and I found out that I can actually play it through. So I've got a little red, white, and yellow cable. Um, I can actually play it um, and record, so, you know, properly. So um, yeah, let me get that on there. It's a bit sorry if this is a bit slapdash. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy to have that back. So uh, comment, like, and subscribe as you normally do. Um, I've been Dave, you've been Olivia, and um, you keep showing your phone off whenever you bend over, I don't, I don't, it seems a bit trashy, yeah, but anyway, happy Dave, happy Dave.